フルカウンター Alright, lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. I was about to get ready to upload my actual video, but now they just dropped some new news. When I say day, I'm referring to Regents because he has dropped his new beta build update. And if you don't know what this is, this is a beta build that the devs have access to when you build the game on that version so they can send it live to the live version, right? Now, uh, I know it's kind of confusing because, uh, you know, we got Estherosa leaks way back ago, like a very, a very long time ago, and people are still expecting them to come out. But the thing is, lads, these are the beta. They're not supposed to come out for a very long time, if maybe at all, right? So you got to take it with a grain of salt. Most of these aren't really confirmed, but it's a very good likely chance these will come to the game because, you know, they actually, you know, the shows are working on the character. And I wasn't really going to make a video, but to be fair, a lot of game changes in this uh, little, uh, dev or beta update rather than humans. Because to be fair, a lot of them are from ones we've already seen. So straight away, being starting off, all vampires from the April beta, no name, no name, no name. Nothing's really changed too much here. Demon race, nothing changed again i guess they have now added q sack he's already been leaked actually in fact right now on screen you can see the actual custom skins which he's gonna be getting probably next week on jp and uh yeah they look good i kind of wish that demon i hope it did change it because uh that gray demon one doesn't look too great i would have thought he would have done the same thing as chandler where he put like the like the hood over him like a onesie rather than it just being like a little you know band to go on the head Oh, no, I'm pretty excited. But then, boys, down here, human race. So we have Eason, which is new. Shin's already been there. Veronica's been there. Has been there. Dreyfus, Hendrickson, all the same. But Margaret is now there. So bear in mind, do not be confused with Goddess Margaret. You can see she is still there. But then also Eskinor, boys. Now, uh, this is quite massive, and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, let's start with Eastern. We already have three Easterns in the game. In fact, I would have just uploaded a video about it, or about to upload it later tonight. And, uh, yeah, Eastern means it's most likely a the Awakened one, because we haven't seen two versions of OC characters, you typically get the normal one, then the Awakened version. So we are going to most likely get the Awakened version. So basically think Mark II Valenti or Awakened Lilia. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because, uh, you know, Easter's my favorite character, well, my favorite OC. A little bit annoying though, we won't be able to use the actual custom Ebon outfit that he made. So the new, like, you know, the purple, like black one that you just got during the event. But in Margaret, I mean, I made a video saying part three character we could be getting and Margaret looks like to be one of them. And, you know, I don't mind because just fair enough more support maybe it's, it's something to use in the sub slot who knows and then boys the big one which is why i want to kind of talk about Eskinor. so this is not the one i mean it could be the one who knows right but if we're thinking about the end of the like the, the current season we're on now so before the final one Eskinor does get a new outfit so this good p this could be the blue Eskinor we could get do not be confused with the actual blue the one Eskinor that does that's a completely different character more of a coincidence but Blue Eskinor, we have the green and red one. We could get a blue one. And uh, it could be his purple outfit, you know, the disco Eskinor, where everyone kind of memes on. Or it could be a skinny Eskinor. We're yet to see him. And if you watched my video the other day, I talked about one of my most wanted characters is that Eskinor with a shield. I think if we were to get skinny Eskinor, it wouldn't be that version. I think we may get, you know, three Eskinor before we even see that one. But if they want to like, jump, and nah, I don't think it will be because that's super far ahead in the story mode. And if they want to reset it super early, which they could do with this Eskinor. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one because. If you're using this Eskinor, it's got to be not better than the one, but, you know, a good substitute, really. And we already have the Bond team, or the Bond meta, so having another Eskinor boys can be quite crazy. Uh, then we do have Goddess Margaret already in the files, most likely coming next week or in a few days' time. Then uh, Training Cave is going to update. This is uh, quite massive, because this is things that people have been, you know, asking for a long time. Level 4 stages. However, um, it's still, you know, level... F I mean, I guess it be level 4. But you can do it, like, what, nine times and inverse yourself again. I guess that's fine. I mean, we have level 90 SA5 now, you know, and a lot more characters. Like, Training Cave, I auto it. So, it's... I wouldn't mind making make it a little bit challenging, so we have to actually try. And then maybe if the rewards are actually better, then fair enough. I mean, why not, right? Just, so you're not really going to complain about a free update. And most likely more hammers and more ways to get the purple stones, which is always nice, right? Okay, so the next one has kind of got me confused a little bit. So... Final boss, some important story characters will be added. Who the hell are important story characters? We already got the commandments and the sins. So I guess uh, if we're counting like Hauser and Jericho, it's important because they already got final bosses. I'd assume Chandler and Q, so that could be one because they don't really count as a commandment final boss, right? And then maybe, you know, Ludo, we get, might get some archangels. We know we could get some archangels. And then I guess 
Margaret, maybe? Like, that's the only one. Like, the, if you think about important characters, it's probably the Archangels, you know, Chandler, Cusack, the Demons. And then, yeah, Margaret, honestly, that's, like, the only really important characters other than the Sins and Commandments that we already already have, really. But, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe we get, you know, Grimoire as well. I oh, know we didn't go. Did we get Grimoire? No, we didn't get... We got the characters of Final Boss, but we didn't get skins. So, hopefully, they rerun found a boss like Jericho and Gila again, but give them actual outfits, and uh, maybe if we do get a new Jericho or Gila in the future, they, they may rerun it then for that, for like outfits for them, that new character, because uh, yeah, if they do release new characters, there will be new colors, and then uh, this one is important, so it looks like Regents is in talk with the actual devs from the looks of it, because he did make a little Q&A a while ago, and um, he said here, a week ago I asked, well I made a question, and I sent your suggestions, and he answered me, so it looks like he sent improvements to Netmarble, and Netmarble actually answered him, which is uh, uh, surprising because I thought they didn't they would they really didn't want to work with um, regions or have any involvement really but here's a list of what they're working on higher player level 90 so your actual in-game rank you're like adventure rank like Genshin for example and uh, I guess the good thing about this would mean one more I guess gems just for ranking up and then two more stamina because the more you rank up the more stamina you're gonna get and you probably go up to like 110 120 and you gotta remember farming overnight and just getting that one extra like 10 extra stamina saves you so much stamina in the long run especially in this game so yeah they need to increase it like rather like sooner than later honestly it's um just do 100 i mean uh no you're fair enough we'll get 100 when we get level 100 characters uh next is uh, add more things to play with friends very vague but yes i mean you can already confirm that the fact that we are getting global uh night or guild guild wars for global oh not global but like you know everyone else is getting it right global will get it soon which is a uh, more way to make your teams more competitive in, in a sense and then he also confirmed with a later right now update we'll be getting some sort of knighthood boss where it's like live pp i'd seem imagine colossal titan but with your guild that's what i'd assume uh i add a skin set that garant gets one pendant hammer or graven stone similar to gold for skin drops as anvils so if you don't know if you have the full gold for skin and you do uh what's it the full sagras 10 stages a day you will get 10 guaranteed anvils so with this idea you'll be able to get hopefully one pendant a day with a, a costume set right which is massive because you know I mean, it's, it's it's massive, but not really, because it takes 21, I believe, pendants to max out one character to level 90, from level 0 to level 90, and uh, that's a month. So you get one free character a month, essentially, to level up. Obviously, I'm not going to complain, that's a thing, but it kind of goes to show how much we need pendants, and you just need to start improving it a lot more. Hammers, fair enough, I don't mind, maybe 10, 5 ham ha hammers a day. 5 hammers a day? Good lord, that's actually massive. Uh, and Graveyard Stones, I don't really care too much about, because I think we get a decent amount. I mean, if you're not a whale, even I, who spend a lot of money in the game, don't engrave a lot of characters because you got to fully invest into someone and if you are free to play you're only doing a handful of characters anyway maybe a one festival every few months so you know you're not really you know giving you our gear to a lot of characters and i think we do get a decent amount but i'm not gonna complain about more uh view mode of pp i guess that'd be more towards tournaments and um i know some people were saying on twitter that you know tournaments were pretty fun back in the day you know speedy nagaton all them lot with um you know some of their jp girls used to do them uh and yeah i mean bring them back i guess it would have made it a little bit better if they had a more organized system during the actual influence of the tournament where it wasn't it was, I mean, it was fine, but, you know, they could have done, like, on, like, their channels and, like, had us in the games and stuff like that. It would have been pretty sick. Uh, improved daily tasks, they'll probably work on it. They increased already, so this isn't anything too crazy. More rewards, fair enough. And then, finally, add more ways to buy Awakening Coins. Uh, they'll probably work on it. So, Awakening Coins, I'm assuming Super Awakening Coins, right? Not the, the actual blue ones. But, yes, please, because, uh... I mean, I've, if you've been following the channel, lads, I've been in content creation, like, or PvP, more or less, almost every other day, and that's showcasing a new character, so i got to get them to level 90, at least, or level 80, SA5, one of the two, and it does take quite a lot, so yeah, boys, uh, that is it for today's update, obviously, um, a, qu a little bit massive, I would say, you know, a massive game-changing stuff here, like, training K level 4, cool, more final bosses, hopefully not sh bad ones, some of that is actually more challenging and uh, more improvements to hopefully stuff these come true and i guess the main one's eskinor i think that's the one most people care about uh but bear in mind once again all information is from developer app this changes every day none of this is essentially i mean it's not confirmed but this is a good idea of like what nebo is planning to work on and what they have worked on which is most likely going to come true but not maybe not in a week maybe not in a month maybe not in two months like we saw esterosa 
He was supposed to come out months ago. Well, not supposed to, but he got leaked months ago. People still think he's going to be coming next week, but he's not. He's coming probably like maybe a month and a half now, two months away. Um, it's just we don't know when it's going to drop. But I'm most looking forward to the Eskinor one. Will it be the, the blue Eskinor with the purple outfit? Or will it be a skinny Eskinor? Margaret as well. I like Margaret. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting her as a character. Probably a free one. But you can kind of see the kind of like Veronica Hauser, Drake for Hendrix, and Margaret. Most likely just going to fill the part three banner so we can start getting tickets. Uh, but yeah, lads, thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you're, you're most excited for. And uh, yeah, peace.